because there was some controversy this week. Uh, Bernie Sanders, Democratic mm -hmm. candidate for president, mm -hmm. very popular. Mm -hmm. uh, two activists interrupted his speech mm -hmm. and grabbed the mic. Uh, didn't even do a Kanye ain't gonna let you finish. <laughs> I'm gonna let you finish, but yeah. Hillary Clinton is right, uh, and uh, and a lot of people said, you know, um, why Bernie Sanders? I mean, if you're gonna interrupt somebody, I mean, this guy has a hundred percent approval rating from the NAACP. NAACP He's, like Donald Sterling too, though. So what? Y yeah, you missed that part. Like no, Donald I, I did miss. Yeah, that yeah, part. yeah. So I mean, you know, Bernie. You Sanders... You mean a place called the National Association for <laughs> the Advancement of Colored People is out of date? I mean, you know, <laughs> we love the NAACP. You know, we love. The NAACP and the history of But NAACP. Bernie Sanders plainly is yeah. not a racist. Well, Bernie I mean, Sanders is not the problem. Well, you know, Bernie Sanders is somebody who, you know, he's, an, he's somebody who, just because someone has a record of civil rights doesn't mean they are automatically entitled to the black vote. But and he, I, is he the first guy we should be attacking? Well, you know, I, uh, he might be the, well, Shouldn't me, we work up our way from he, people who... He might be the easiest because he's somebody who's dealing with the people more directly than a Jeb Bush think, or Hillary Clinton. Think, he might be the easiest to get to. But, I mean, I think the thing is that you got to look what happened after these activists. Me, personally, I'm friends with some of the people who started Black Lives Matter. My sensibilities, when I first saw what happened to Bernie in Seattle, I was like, well, maybe, you know, that's not right. But I was corrected. I had to stand corrected because the job of activism is not to be liked or not to be polite. It's about making sure these issues, black women vote more than anybody in this country. And you have young black women who started Black Lives Matter and they are, for are forcing this discussion. They say, you're not gonna be a progressive and say that just because you're a progressive that you, you or have, have a good view of racial, you have a grasp of racial issues. It's very possible to be pro progressive and still have no understanding of racial issues. You know what I'm saying? And I think, and what's happened since then, is that since they've used protests, which, you know, Martin Luther King did and Nelson Mandela did and Gandhi and all these political figures did, historical figures did, they've changed the dialogue. They forced O'Malley, is his name, yeah. to come up with a platform. They forced Bernie, uh, Bernie Sanders to deal with it. And that's positive and beautiful, In and fact, I love them for all of these Democrats.